Good evening, everyone. I'm Matthew Smith. Lindsay has the night off. We're going to start tonight with a large rally held in Seattle's Cal Anderson Park. It's organizer from California, and he's been going city to city gathering crowds despite local restrictions against those large gatherings. Cairo 7's Michael Spears is live in Capitol Hill. And Michael, some people are not happy with this group. Because so few had masks behind us as they gathered for several hours, some people were even baptized, violating those coronavirus mandates meant to slow the spread of the virus. Packed in tightly, singing with uncovered faces. Led by Sean Foyk, seen here in a Supersonics jersey, gathered steps away from her protests against police brutality, have continued in Seattle in the wake of George Floyd's death. To just bring a blessing over the city that has gone through a lot of pain. This man and his family are from Minneapolis. So then I just continued with them up to Portland and Seattle. This woman is from D.C. and said she attended previous Let Us Worship rallies, including this one in Portland. Gathering, she said, started in opposition to California's coronavirus worship restrictions. When I was out at the protest for Black Lives Matter, I didn't really get much backlash on not wearing a mask, but now that I've been out at worship events, I do get more backlash on not wearing a mask. The group catching the attention of others. Jesus! Jesus! With the crowd at one point shouting Jesus as this man held a sign. I mean, ultimately, a large gathering of people is a large gathering of people, right? And uh, the same rules apply there or here. You know, in the protests with our medics, we're always handing out masks and hand sanitizer. This person said they handed out masks here, too, that some took, others didn't. It's very disheartening and frustrating to have people come into our community and potentially be bearing disease. We say we understand that they hold a different opinion and it is not anything to be angry about. Now those here behind us earlier told us these rallies will continue on in other U.S. cities. For now, we're live in Seattle. I'm Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News. And uh, Michael, thanks for that live report. Sean Foyt is described as a worship leader and a political activist. And tonight in Seattle, he and his band played in front of hundreds despite COVID-19 restrictions on large gatherings. It's all a part of his Riots to Revival movement. Our Kayla Lafferty is live on Seattle's Capitol Hill with more on what happened this evening. Kayla. Well, there were hundreds of people, and from what we saw, not many were wearing masks or social distancing. They were here, as you mentioned, Vanessa, for Sean Foyt's Riots to Revival movement. He held a concert, and there were prayers. Now, Foyt's team says Riots to Revival hopes to flip the script in cities that have had a lot of protests and rioting by bringing in prayer, music, and acts of kindness. Religious events larger than 50 people are prohibited right now due to Governor Jay Inslee's phased approach to reopening the state. One family that we talked with did have masks with them, but they weren't wearing them. They said they came to this event to pray and worship in hopes that change is coming to the unrest in our society. From riots to revival, some from something that it's evil to something that it's good. And we are not afraid of this virus and we are, but we are very uh, like, um, we care for people, but, um, but we just came to, to just pray. Now, Foyt also did have another one of these riots to revival movement gatherings in Portland yesterday. He also has held some other similar events in California and despite of their mandates as well for COVID. Live on Capitol Hill, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.